Uh, we are measuring the nitrogen oxide in terms of our uh, agricultural emissions. Thank you. Um, we'll now move swiftly on to the next item of business. It is consideration of motion number 13384 in the name of Liam MacArthur on the appointment of a member of the Standards Commission for Scotland. Can I call on Liam MacArthur to speak to and move the motion on behalf of the Scottish Parliamentary Corporate Body? Mr MacArthur, you may wish to say a few words. I, <laughs> thank you, President Officer. I will extemporise where I can. Um, I speak to the motion in my name as a member of the Scottish Parliament Corporate Body Appointment Panel and invite colleagues across the Chamber to agree to the appointment of Professor Kevin Dunyon as a member of the Standards Commission for Scotland. I know the presiding officer, you will be delighted to hear that under the Ethical Standards in Public Life Act 2000, members of the Commission are appointed by the SPCB with the agreement of the Parliament. The role of the Standards Commission is to encourage high ethical standards in public life, and it does this by promoting and enforcing the codes of conduct for councillors and members of default public bodies. The SPCB sat as a selection panel on 13 May this year. The members of the panel were John Pentland, Liz Smith and myself. And from a very strong field of candidates, uh, we are seeking the agreement of the Parliament this afternoon to appoint Professor Dunyon as the member of the Standards Commission. On behalf of the SPCB, I would like to thank Louise Rose, the independent assessor, uh, Ms Rose oversaw our deliberations and has confirmed by way of a validation certificate that the appointment process conformed to good practice and the recommendation of Professor Dunyon is made on merit after a fair, open and transparent process. Turning to the candidate, we believe that Professor uh, Dunyon will bring to the post high levels of integrity and discretion as well as a strong commitment to encouraging high ethical standards in public life. I am sure that the Parliament will want to join me in wishing Professor Dunyon every success in his new role. And, Presiding Officer, I have pleasure in moving the motion slightly early in my name. Thank you. Mr MacArthur, a truly valiant effort. Can I just remind members that uh, following decision time tonight, uh, there is a debate on the uh, Gaelic language. Uh, there will be translation um, in the uh, chamber. You should have in front of you uh, some headphones, which will assist greatly. Um, Angus MacDonald will be um, speaking to the members of the debate motion on the 10th anniversary of the Gaelic Languages Scotland Act 2005. And I understand that a number of members are going to be speaking at least part of their speech um, in Gaelic. So we certainly look forward to that. And we now come to decision time. There are five questions to be put as a result of today's business. Can I remind members that in relation to the debate on the EU referendum,